What's up, guys? This is Kerry Jordan again, aka Kerry the Label Guy. This is my third video and final video in my three part BN3 tutorial where I go over uh, some more in depth things. In the first part, I explain the basic features of BM3. The second part, second video, I showed how to do some basic map editing. How to lock your exhaust flaps in wide open position for Sport and Sport Plus. How to mess around with the flap tables. I showed a little bit about exactly how uh, how in depth the uh, table definitions are for these uh, these engines within BM3 within the editor. So now I'm going to uh, do a little more in depth. Uh, just go dive a little deeper, if you will. And just looking over my notes here. There's so much to cover in BM3. It's such an amazing, uh, amazing setup. So um, okay, so let's do this. Uh, I want to show you the import, open import feature of uh, of the editor. This is really cool. This really, really, really helps. Uh, when it comes to tuning, or if you want to merge maps, like say if you're if you've decided to take it upon yourself to tune your car, tune your own car, and you're you're learning how to how to edit and what to edit and what to do, and you want to merge some things, or if you want to open up and compare different uh, different maps, the things that you've done, you'd use the open import feature. So in this case. I've got the stock map, let's back up. I've got the stock map test that I did, I made. And uh, that's where I changed some things with exhaust valve operation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the stock tune that I based my tune, my uh, stock map test off of. I wanna check my edits and see what I did and if I did it properly as compared to the stock map. So in this case, I'll click on the stock map, ZCP map. If you notice, there's my ROM. It's also up here that I showed you in, in the last video. Click on stock map, import changes, import. Now immediately on the left hand side, you can see the changes I've made between this map and the stock map. And in this case, the original values, remember I locked them open. You can see the original values and the values of the map that you overlaid on top of the map that you were viewing. So the original values for stock and then, I'm sorry, the original values of the map that I edited and then the stock values, okay? And you can do that through all of these different, if, if well, I'll just show you. Let's let's do another one. If you want to do another one, let's do another one. Let's, hold on. Let's back out. I'll show you the differences between a ZCP and a non-ZCP. Non-ZCP, stock, import. Now watch what happens on the left-hand columns. Boom. Look at all these differences. These are all the differences between the non-ZCP and the ZCP, and there's quite a few. There's boost differences, or boost table differences. There are, there's not exhaust flap differences necessarily. Remember, I changed these. There's uh, an ignition timing difference for the uh, component protection table. So uh, <clears throat> I want to go over some uh, some differences and parallels to Tuner Pro, a lot of people are going to try to compare BM3 with other well-known tuning suites out there. There's a big difference between BM3 and, say, a program such as Tuner Pro. Um, what makes BM3 so awesome? As you can see, you can edit maps, you can do diagnostics, you can do all kinds of different things in BM3 that are just absolutely awesome. Data log, you have uh, 
live gauges. I mean, there's so many awesome things about BM3 because BM3 is based on the cloud. Whereas a program such as Tuner Pro is not based on the cloud and requires heavy dependency on, say, email, back and forth, data logs, and there's no notifications. You can't send and request tunes from within uh, Tuner Pro. Um, the logging in Tuner Pro is uh, completely separate from the suite. So you have to you have to handle everything outside of Tuner Pro within BM3. It's all you can do everything. I can I can request to view your data. I can view your data logs. You can send tuning requests. I can send back maps. We can do easy revisions. Um, again, I can look at your data logs. You don't even have to send me the link. Um, I can send you back the map with comments, instructions. We can keep track of map versions. Uh, there's so many different things because BM3 is based on the cloud that you would never be able to do with, with a, uh, a program such as Tuner Pro. Tuner Pro is really not user friendly. It's mainly only based for tuners that really know what they're doing. You know. So what Pro Tuning Freaks wanted to do was bring the best of both worlds, bring the best of, a, of an awesome editor make it even more awesome and more better and put it make it to where the end user can easily access it use it utilize it make it easier for the tuners to do what they need to do more accurately so we can focus on power safety customer service M meld all of these different things Get rid of the cons, pull it together, and pull in all the all, all the pros, and build it into this setup and this system, and that is BM3. And there's just nothing else like it. And what we've been able to do with BM3 is absolutely amazing. Um, I've had I, I've said this in, in video one at the very beginning. I've spent a lot of time on this. Um, spent a lot of time helping testing, working on uh, understanding the fuel system of the S55, which was com very complicated, understanding how all these tables worked. Um, the guys at Pro Tuning Freaks have done a phenomenal job at table definitions, reverse engineering the DME, reverse engineering all the different things and trying to figure everything out. There's very little documentation. There's no documentation really on any of this. They, they went way above and beyond for this platform to make it work and I can assure you it was not an easy task it was not easy what they've done is nothing short of a miracle it's been a long time coming and I think that once you get in BM3 you realize how easy it is how easy it is to import across ROMs different ROMs the uh, BM3 is not heavily reliant on emails. I mean, you can get you get email notifications, but everything's handled within BM3 um, with, say, Tuner Pro or one of the other programs. Um, you can't edit dual accesses. I mean, there's so many different things that, that BM3 that they really, 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 really paid close attention to detail and wanted to get it right and make it easier for the tuner, make it easier for the end user. Um, and like I showed you, I mean, VM3's ability to import changes, exclude, include tables on saves. Um, and there's just so much awesome stuff with VM3 that you can do that you would never, ever be able to do without it. Um, it's, it's come a long way, actually. Just in the period of time I've been working on it, BM3 has come a long way. And I've been involved for, I don't know, I think it's just been over just over seven months. I've been running 385. I mean, but this is, this is, this platform is an, allowed the S55 to go straight E85 with no fuel modifications. 
whatsoever. I mean, if Pro Tuning Freaks did not invent this and make this work, we would not be where we are right now. Okay? We wouldn't be. We owe a lot to them. So this, guys, is my final video on BM3. I think I went over pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Um, there's a lot more that I'm not going to go into. Some of it's very complicated on the tuner side. The beautiful thing about BM3 is the other beautiful thing out of many beautiful things about BM3 is the fact that you don't have to know how to tune. There's people out there that can help you. There's custom tuners. There's PTF themselves. Um, you can do small little edits like I just showed you with the exhaust valves. That's easy. There's other easier stuff too. Then you can drill down deeper if you want to, or you can send it off to a custom tuner who can do it for you and, and knows what they're doing and can get you a reliable, safe, powerful map built. And that's really, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. BM3 is awesome. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys know who I am at this point and know how to find me. If you need anything from me, let me know. Uh, put the comments in the video or you know the di other different places I hang out on the internet. Um, obviously, if you have any questions about BM3, you can contact Pro Tuning Freaks directly. ProTuningFreaks.com, I believe it is. Or uh, Boot mode with a three dot com for more information and uh that's it this is carry the label guy see y'all